Well, state lawmakers have unveiled their plan to restrict abortion access here in Indiana. In its current form, the procedure would be banned except in cases of rape, incest, and or, or if the life of the mother is at risk. But how does the, the draft language affect the process known as in vitro fertilization? Uh, Dr. Stephanie Boyce, a professor at IUPUI and an expert on reproductive technologies law, helps answer that question on tonight's Unfiltered. Stephanie, thank you for joining us once again. In your expert opinion, because we talked not too long ago about this, will the bill in its current form uh, affect fertility here in Indiana, specifically the fertility industry? No, the bill that's been presented today um, will not affect fertility treatments. Um, and I, it, in reading the language, it seems like that was on purpose. Okay, can you expand, expand a little bit how, how before we saw what the bill looked like, why was there a thought that it might and how has that changed? So the thought that it might was all around the language of when the ban started. Um, and what Indiana has done is they have what's called a zero week ban. So it would potentially ban all abortions. However, they use very specific language to define pregnancy. Um, in its current state, the bill, Senate Bill 1, defines pregnancy as beginning upon implantation in a human uterus. Um, so that would be after fertility treatments, specifically IVF, had been done. The concern prior was that the bill might define pregnancy as beginning at fertilization, where egg and sperm meet. And that would be prior to IVF services being completed. So I guess there was some relief after seeing that bill for yourself and, and a lot of other people out there. Yeah, I think that folks who are undergoing IVF should be very relieved. You know, I always want to put the caveat on that this is just the beginning of the process and there could be amendments to the language. Well, I was going to say if, if the bill passes in its current form, fertility clinics can act and, and continue on as normal? Yes. Okay, well, that's good news, right? Um, and you mentioned it, there could be changes, right? So you're keeping a close eye on that. What type of changes are you looking out for? Absolutely. I think with the way the bill is currently written, changes would be related to when we start to define pregnancy or if we were to def define when life begins. The current bill does not define when life begins, but there are a lot of states defining life to begin at conception, and that would start to have an impact on fertility treatment services. Okay. Anything else that maybe you want to add in in regards to this subject that, that I'm not aware of, that I'm not asking, or that folks out there should know in your opinion? Um, this is slightly outside the, the realm of IVF, but the way that they have defined pregnancy as beginning an implantation, it also doesn't affect um, various methods of birth control, including Plan B or the morning after pill. Okay. Stephanie Boyce, thank you so much for clearing that up on a, on a very convoluted topic. We really appreciate you taking some time. Of course. Thanks for having me.